I'm a business and economics librarian here at the University of New Mexico, and today we're going to talk about citation chaining. So what is citation chaining? It's mainly when you're talking about literature review, where you can track research literature over time. So let's say you have Article A, and it was written in 2015. So you read the, the peer review article, you like it, very useful, great. Next, what you can do is go look at their references and say that it has numbers 1 through 20 references. And then you can go look through those and maybe 1 through 5 are key that are very related to A. Um, 6 and 7 are dealing with a method or methodology that are, you're interested in. So now you have you know, these references that you can go review, find those articles, very useful. Next, what you could do is go forward in time and look at who cited A. So now what we can do is look through, maybe say that it's been cited, you know, 25 times. So we have articles B through Z. A few of them could be quite related to A and some other ones maybe not. But with one article, you can go backwards in time and go forward in time and find some quality content. Now, one of the issues, so every article, B through Z, 1 through 20 and A, you can do this backwards and forward citation chaining because you may be tracking a, a thought, a method, a theory, etc. But one of the problems that you have to watch out for is this rabbit hole. So this rabbit hole, it has all the shiny objects and squirrels. So watch out because you want to pay attention to your research question and your uh, hypotheses. So you want to stick, stay out of the rabbit hole. Now, one of the key resources that allows you to do a lot of this work is a database called Web of Science. Now, the name is somewhat of a misnomer because Web of Science includes social science, science, and an arts and humanities index. It also has a um, zoological record, biosis, and Medline, which is very close related to PubMed. So with Web of Science, you can do this backwards and forward citation chaining. It's quite useful. So let's go take a look at Web of Science. <laughs>